here from Side Hustles with Max. Now, obviously by my name, I love Side Hustles. I love making money. I love earning cash any way I can. So today I want to show you guys how you can, or how I basically integrated a printing partner into eBay. Now I'm based in New Zealand and I've known about eBay and I've been using eBay since I was like a kid, like probably in my early teens. That's how long eBay has been around. And also I guess when you're at this part of the world, you literally, when you were younger, you didn't really have Amazon or Facebook Marketplace. Uh, you've got you had eBay. Now we've got our own marketing platform in New Zealand called Trade Me, which you can you know go on there and buy things and sell things online, make a bit more money. I've got the link below in my video on how to use Trade Me in New Zealand. But eBay was like the OG, right? It's the first one of its kind for us in this part of the world. You could like buy a lot more things on eBay. You had a lot more access to a lot more things to buy secondhand or firsthand whatever it was on ebay ebay was like the amazon of its time anyway ebay is super dope right so ebay um yeah like i said huge market platform a lot of organic traffic so i guess when you go on ebay uh you can buy and sell anything you want um a lot of companies use ebay like amazon a lot of uh, independent sellers a lot of organizations you can buy and sell everything and what's great about ebay now is that it integrates with print on demand partners so if you've been in the online business space in the last two years you want to get into print on demand and you want to exp expand and scale your print on demand reach so you might be using etsy you might be using amazon you might be on redbubble ebay is another one with millions of traffic right millions of traffic like amazon ebay is one of the big ones it's it's huge there is pros and cons but we'll talk about that as we get on now obviously first of all printing partners what are printing partners well you've got printful you've got printify both basically act as a integrator for your i guess the platform that you're selling on whether it's uh, ebay etsy uh wherever it is so basically what you do is you're not actually holding any of the inventory yourself you're creating designs you're selling you're creating on the designs on Printful or Printify, and then those designs are being marketed on eBay. Now, what I'll I'll show you guys an example of what one T-shirt that I did as I'm testing my niches out. This one here, I don't have this T-shirt in uh, my possession. This is basically a T-shirt I created through Printful, uh, Printful. So did the design on Canva, and I'll show you guys an example of we're going to do one um, on Canva again to put on Printful, and then. Integrate well, and then they'll integrate naturally. So the great thing about this is that when they're they're sold on here, they'll get sent directly to Printful. Printful will print the T-shirt. They'll print this on a black T-shirt. They'll send that T-shirt to the customer. I don't have to do anything. I just do a listing price and I get the profit. All right? That's the beauty of uh, the integration. Now, people, there's like pros and cons, right? Could I make more money? You know, printing the stickers and T-shirts and mugs myself or, you know, at least bare minimum T-shirts and stickers. Maybe, maybe not so much in New Zealand, this part of the world, probably not. We've got a very, very small traffic source in New Zealand. For example, we've only got four to five million people, whereas in America, you got millions and millions of people going on eBay and Amazon every day and buying things online. So it makes sense, especially me being located at the bottom of the world from a efficiency perspective it makes sense me using integration partners where my margins a lot lower but they're doing the easy stuff for me they're doing the, the majority of the work they're holding the inventory they're printing the t-shirts they're sending it to my customers they're doing all the picking and packing uh, it makes sense for someone who's got a nine to five i've got a baby i've got other things going on in my life for right now it just makes sense right it makes sense for someone else to do it i make a small margin it's petty cash it's extra cash anyway we'll use printful for this example just because I've got my store already integrated. Now, when you sign up for Printful, use my link below, guys. Once again, I don't expect you to. I do get like a sign-on commission when you guys sign up with Printful. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free to sign up for Printful. It just helps me, but I don't need it. It's only if you want to, but the link down is below. Otherwise, just go to printful.com. Really, really easy. You do your dashboard. It's not overly complicated, guys. You basically just set up. You set up your account. You set up your bank account. Uh, you just can, you do everything you need to and from an administrative perspective. Then once you want to integrate to eBay, you just go to stores. Now, there's two things you need to do here, right? You'll integrate your store here. So let's have a look. I want to, let's say I want to create a new store. Choose your method. You can do a manual order platform via API. If you're good with it and you know websites uh, mechanics quite well then you'll go that way otherwise you'll just do the easy way 
Uh, for example, this could be maybe a custom website you've created or you're most likely gonna go through Shopify, Etsy, you've got Wix on here, you've got WordPress, eBay, TikTok, Amazon, everything, right? Like everything's on here, which is fantastic. You just choose your platform. Then you just basically link the two together. It's super simple, guys. It's not rocket science, but once you've done that, one of my stores have popped up here. Now, one thing you wanna do is you wanna change your region. So I had to change my region from obviously um, New Zealand to North America because I want my t-shirt showing in North America where there's the most traffic, right? That's my selling region. That's where I want it to be focused. Now, there is a thing with eBay where they do give you a certain amount of listings. So your eBay account currently has a remaining allowance of nine items at a value of $723. That's not what I can make but it's just saying that I can list nine more items, right? And I'll probably sell, and the thing is, when it comes to nine items, it means basically nine t-shirt sizes, so nine variants. So don't think it's nine different designs with lots of variants, it's basically nine items in total. Now you can request a bigger allowance, that's when it costs, but I do still think it's cool that eBay give you an amount of free listings, unlike Etsy, which gives you 40 free listings to begin with, but then it's 20 cents for every three months, which is chump change, really. Uh, Merch by Amazon's great because it's all free, but you have to sell more to get more space and selling slots, so forth and so on. But I do love that even with eBay, you can kind of start and just get on eBay and see how you go, right? And once you start playing with it, you might want to expand, want bigger allowance, uh, especially if things go well or you're selling really well or you're testing different niches. But it's just one more avenue to sell print on demand on. And it's one of the biggest platforms with amazing organic traffic. So once you do that, basically, You've got it all connected, right? Your t-shirts are on there. Well, I'll show you how to obviously make a t-shirt and then add it, but this is on eBay live. So I've tried to do some SEO with my descriptions, but also I'm really relying on um, basically, rely, basically relying on organic traffic as well as uh, G Google SEO, right? So people going to eBay, maybe typing side hustles t-shirts in, or they are getting it through, searching it through Google, right? Whatever whatever the two gets them here. This one's actually uh, no longer available, but that's fine, my other listing is. All right, so like I said, printing partners like Printify and Print On and uh, Printful, so Printify, Printful, basically act as like a drop shipping for uh, apparel with printing uh, activities or printing services. In conjunction right so for example t-shirts you know you're selling t-shirts with designs or you're selling designs Redbubble is a great example where you do one design and it's marketed on all these different products and Redbubble does all the printing they've got the products you just get a margin and that's it it's simple right so we're gonna go to Canva now we're gonna do a design so I'm gonna go down here to custom size uh, you can't see it which is a bit annoying but that's okay I can just move this a little bit here we've got a custom size and we'll move that back so we can see the full screen. Um, and it's always for t-shirts, 4,500 by 4,500 pixels. That's just the standard Merch by Amazon um, pixel rating for t-shirts. And also Redbubble loves it. Basically, you can do any design on those pixel ratings and every platform likes it. And you can actually make it meet and match. So I'm just going to do a cute like uh, dog. Just, just a real funny dog like a pet themed one right and we'll just see how it goes in regards to we'll just do a fairly generic one we'll choose an image from canva and we'll just this is just to show you how it works right um these are quite cool i think i saw these the other day but let's find a popular breed i think i saw a frenchie here somewhere that i liked that's pretty cool there we go the hipster frenchie right so i'm just gonna blow that up to fit the entire box gonna center it right we're gonna download that as always as a transparent all right transparent background we don't want the white background we just want the image so we're gonna download that transparent image while that's doing its thing there it is ready to go we're gonna go back to stores we're gonna go add a product now we can add anything here right we can add a cup a mug a sticker so maybe let's do a sticker I think, yeah, I think, I think why not? Like, let's, let's play around with a sticker. Stickers are super popular, and on eBay, stickers do sell. Uh, I think it's an actually home and living. Let's have a look. Uh, wall art. They definitely do. Have, there we go. Stickers. What's a popular sticker here? Kiss Cut stickers, bestseller. Too easy. 
All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to design. We're going to choose a file. We're going to upload a new file. We're going to upload this sucker. Now it's going to upload uh, into here basically. And once it's all done, we're going to select that one, put it on, and it's going to be kiss cut file. With kiss cut, remember with stickers, you don't want too much white because they end up being uh, not very visible in the sticker form, right? So if we look here, I'm going to get rid of that. Cool. So that's that's how it's going to look on the sticker, right? So I'm happy with that. This is remember training purposes basically. Proceed to mock-ups. So I think the mock-ups are really cool. So I generally like it on the laptop because it's like a real image. You can do these other ones, like for example there, or like a Halloween theme. But I do like it. You can even have the standard just that. I do like it on a laptop because people can see it like on actual item in real life, right? Um, your store would load faster. I always choose the JPEG option for the mock, just for the mock-up format, because you want it to be as fast as possible. Um, this is the key part. This is going to be your SEO, your product title. So let's call this. Uh, ooh, you're going to have to be. It's funny uh, what you what you learn with SEO is. You don't want to. The, the sometimes the obvious isn't the best. Like you'll go funny, cute, French bulldog. Then you'd go hipster sticker, right? You wouldn't start with sticker with hipster French bulldog. You'd go funny, cute French bulldog. So if there's either a funny dog sticker, cute dog sticker, or cute French bulldog, something like that, that's the that's the stronger keywords, right? Standard description. I like this. I actually keep this because it uh, basically adds a lot about the product that you want customers to know about. So what I would get rid of is I'd get rid of some of the more technical. Uh, terminologies which won't make sense to a, 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 I guess a consumer so I okay, code there's impossible to see through fast and easy bubble free application durable vinyl perfect for industry use perfect and then what I'll do is I'll enter that down because I want to add a bit more of my own description I print on durable high opacity you want to read this make sure that there's nothing commercially sensitive meaning that the customer's not going to read that that make that sounds like it's coming from a professional business rather than them being like hang on a second is this like from the like the printing not, not so I'll, I'll say is this from the manufacturer or something this doesn't sound right but that actually sounds like i'm a professional business i print these stickers i make these stickers myself they're handcrafted whatever it is knowing damn well that i've got a printing partner who does it all for me right um but i'll say uh this cute uh funny hipster french bulldog sticker is a perfect gift for dog lovers puppy lovers, pet lovers, or anyone who just loves dogs. Right, that really basic SEO. Uh, probably not the strongest SEO, but it's it, it makes sense, right? So I'm going to leave that as it is to, for the sake of moving on. Now you can use the size guides measurements that are going to show as well. So I will keep it as an imperial for the North American potential buyers all right the fun part set revenue now this is my uh revenue here this is the printful price so what i want to do is i probably want to go something like 5.99 apply that because essentially i want to make a bit more for stickers potentially their margins real low and stickers are cheap but what you could do is just to initially get some sales you could price it a lot cheaper so for example 3.99 um, oh, let's just call them all 399 see how that works out um, so as you can see yeah the revenue is like $1.74 to $1.79 but sometimes um, you, you kind of taxes aren't included right so for example right here and it's like you have to think about shipping so for me I'm like if my customers are all in North America taxes taxes for, for a sticker that's worth $399 tax is going to be 30% let's just say it's 30% right so take off 30% off your set revenue. So you kind of like down to like between a dollar and a dollar 50, right? Um, even less for a bigger sticker, like under a dollar. Good to initially get some sales and start playing with niches, but let's just go with that for now. Um, and then we'll go from there. Now edit quantities. So available store variant six out of nine. Let's say I go five, five, and I'm ready out of space, right? So for example, that's why that, that's where I guess that um the quantity is really really gonna ping you do you know what i mean like um that's where that 
the very the limited listings on eBay is going to ping you where I I want to sell. What if I sell a hundred stickers? I've only got capacity for nine. So for the sake of testing purposes, this is okay. I'm showing you guys how to do it. But on eBay, you really want to have like one thousand uh, like variant quantity, right? So you want to be able to have, sell a thousand of each sticker just in case this might blow up. Let's submit that to store. So now it's doing its thing. Generating print files and mockups. So now, once it's all ready, it's pushing to our eBay store, which is already locked and loaded. You've connected it. It's good to go. You don't with eBay. You don't really have to have a storefront, or uh, as long as your like your store could your eBay account could be under your name, right? I just happen to have changed my store name uh, differently to my actual account name. So here we go. That's all ready to go. Very quickly, right? Three synced. So with eBay, it's like people on eBay do not buy for the store, they buy for the product, right? So they're gonna look at it, they're not gonna to jump too much into your storefront or even your store, your account details, but that's it, look at that, that's on eBay. Beautiful, like fantastic, perfect and easy, right? And just exciting knowing that, cool, I've got this like cool sticker with awesome mock-ups, looks super professional on eBay, ready to go, right? It's got my shipping details there, obviously that's for where I'm living now in New Zealand. Um, that's just because it's always shipped to New Zealand. Doesn't mean that's where the stickers will go, but people in North America, if you're based in LA, it'll be like two, three days um, for, with printing and shipping. Super fast, my printing partner is based in the States. So here we go, uh, here's my little design. Here's the metrics. So when people go onto this, right, they organically search this, they'll see this. French cute, you know, funny, cute French Bulldog hipster sticker. They'll see it, they'll see it in different sizes on the different mock-ups, the different laptops. And they'll go down and be like, oh, well, actually there's some good information here. Whatever it is. But guys, it's that simple, right? Canva, Printful, eBay, three things, right? You've got a storefront, whether it's eBay, whether it's Amazon, whether it's Redbubble, whether it's Etsy. You've got a printing partner, Printify or Printful, both great. And then you've got Canva, which is fantastic for making all your designs, right? All the links are below. Check out my channel. If you like what I'm doing, if you think it's dope, dope like and subscribe otherwise stay tuned for the next one i hope this was easy enough to follow i try and be as transparent as i can but some of it's not overly in depth for example i could have walked through how to do a print for sign up for end to end but i think for most people in the online business world you're at a point where you either know or even just jumping on and just exploring you should be able to you should really be able to sign up for Printful. It's not complicated at all, guys. It's it's nothing complex about it. Super simple. They just need a few details. There's no cost and you're away flying, right? The hard part is probably building an Etsy store, getting a storefront, or just maybe the integration piece, which like I said with eBay, super simple. Probably the most simplistic, one of the most simplistic integrations and the most efficient uh, product push-throughs. So like I said, like what I'm doing, Doug. If not, that's okay too. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next one.